what's up world? I'm Kim Scargill and today I'm gonna show you how to make picture-perfect perspectives for your composites. This is how I learned to freehand match perspectives and make my composites look go from looking good to looking really good. Now I also shoot all my composites whether it's for myself or for a client. I shoot with that in mind meaning I try to match the height, the angle and the lighting when I shoot it so that makes my life a whole lot easier to match their perspectives in post-productions. But if your composites doesn't look super great but they look good there might be a perspective error or perspective fault which makes your mind like it but not a hundred percent satisfied. I hope you like it and hit that subscribe button. So today I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect perspective in five minutes using an Adobe Photoshop filter called vanishing point. I have these two, I have a text and a picture I want to place on this billboard. Realistic, I want to make it look like it's actually photographed. So I'm gonna, so if you just write the text like that and you paste it on, you could like command T to transform it and then move it a little bit around like that. You see it, it looks like it's further back here and more towards you here so they kind of converge at the front here, the same, you take this one, the picture, mantee it and move. You can see if you make the rotor perpendicular to the top of the uh, billboard, everything just looks off. You can see that it does not look very great. There's something very weird with the perspective here. So I'm just gonna undo this. So the five minutes tutorial starts right now. So. The first thing you want to do to work non-destructively is you want to take your background layer and command J it, command Juliet, make a background copy. You want to move it all the way up top and now you can hide it for a second. Now you want to make one of your images of text that you want to get the right perspective on visible. And now you want to over the thumbnail or the T if it's a text, you want to hold down command. You see that you get a little white square. You want to click on it so it's, you get the marching end on the subject. Now you just command C or command Charlie to copy it to the clipboard. Command Delta to hide it and now you can hide this layer again. Now you want to make the background copy visible. You go up to filter down to vanishing point. Now you want to make sure you create a plane tool and you just want to click on each corner as best you can. It doesn't really matter if you're not super accurate because we're gonna have to go in and fix it. Now you get a grid here which you can see this line to the top of here is longer than this line so it doesn't really match up neither here or on the vertical side. So what you want to do you want to zoom in hold down the space part to move around and then click this box that's in the corner just put them right up at the corners of the billboard or wall or whatever it is you're trying to do on all four sides and when it's blue it means it's good photoshop approves your perspective if it turns red it says i don't really think this is a good perspective if it's yellow it says it, this might work so now you can see this line up to here is equidistant the same at the bottom the same on the sides so now we can zoom out and if you wanted to change your grid size to for example 10 you can see you get a lot more squares or so maybe 100 though so 100 doesn't really work so we're gonna keep it at 30. So now what you want to do is paste in whatever you copied earlier. So you press command and the letter V for Victor and you can see it pops up in the top left corner. Now you want to be on your marquee tool and watch what happens when you drag it into where you made the grid. It automatically changes the perspective to make it look right. But I know this is gonna be a little bit too big so I want to transform it and make it smaller. Command T. Grab the corner here, hold on shift and option to make it transform uh, with the fixed ratio like that. And when I hit enter now, we come back and you can see it's perfectly on the canvas here or the billboard and the rotor is equidistant from the top. The skid here is down to the bottom, perfect line. Everything looks good. Now we're gonna paste in the text here. So you make this layer invisible for a second and make the text visible again. 
hold down command, press the letter T to make it selected, and then command Charlie to copy, command Delta to deselect, and then make it uninvisible. Make the background layer copy visible. Go back up to filter, vanishing point, and command Victor. We have the text here. Same thing happens when you just drag it in. Perfect. I want to make the text just a little bit bigger, so command T, take the corner, shift and option, and maybe just a touch smaller like so and move it and press enter and now we have perfectly perspective billboard or text and picture on the billboard this background picture i just found online had no copyright information so whoever made it thank you and this picture of probably the best training helicopter there is at the moment of the Gimbal Cabri G2 it's from the blueprint.com but i found it on google and it's had no copyrights on it so I used it. And that's how you use the vanishing tool. You can use it for pretty much whatever you need it to. Just remember it's kind of a destructive way to work but because you have to make background copies of everything to make it not stick to or ruin what you originally worked on. I really wish Adobe could make this work with smart objects. Thank you. I hope you liked it and if you did please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.